As they race on now with a furlong and a half to go, New Life taken on on the near side by Elusive in Paris, and on the far side, Archer's up. Down the outside is Zofu. They're racing well inside the last 200 yards now, and Archer's up, and Oshin Orr in the lead from Elusive in Paris, Declan McDonough, Zofu, and Donna Mc. Uh, Brian on the outside for third but up to the finish it's Archers up who's going to score for Oshin Orr and Dick Brabazon Elusive in Paris, Zofu, Park Row and New Life for fourth and fifth as they race on now with a furlong and a half to go, New Life taken on on the near side by Elusive in Paris and on the far side, Archer's up down the outside is Zofu they're racing well inside the last 200 yards now and Archer's up and Oshin Orr in the lead from Elusive in Paris, Declan McDonough Zofu and Donna Mc, uh, Brian on the outside for third, but up to the finish, it's Archer's up who's going to score for Oshin Orr and Dick Brabazon, Elusive in Paris Zofu, Park Row and New Life for fourth and fifth. El Greco, Treble Cone the outside, Draper's Guild trying to make ground on the inner, then Liz Canner Bay and Indianapolis spread across the track now towards the final furlong. El Greco in the center, Treble Cone on the far side, Draper's Guild, and Draper's Guild now hits the front, followed on the near side by Treble Cone, and dropping right out El Greco as they run up now towards the finish. It's Draper's Guild who's driven out by Donnick O'Brien, and this one will score for Joseph, beats Treble Cone, and El Greco, and Liz Canner Bay ahead of Indianapolis for the third, fourth, and fifth spot. El Greco, Treble Cone the outside, Draper's Guild trying to make ground on the inner, then Liz Canner Bay and Indianapolis spread across the track now towards the final furlong. El Greco in the center, Treble Cone on the far side, Draper's Guild, and Draper's Guild now hits the front, followed on the near side by Treble Cone, and dropping right out El Greco as they run up now towards the finish. It's Draper's Guild who's driven out by Donnick O'Brien, and this one will score for Joseph, beats Treble Cone, and El Greco and Liz Canner Bay ahead of Indianapolis for the third, fourth, and fifth spot. And Dixie Highway now races up on the outside ahead, Big Ego. Duke of Waspington has dropped back. Not Touch is staying on towards the outside as they race now towards the final furlong. And it's in the center, Dixie Highway, just the leader. Schoolboy Era putting in a big run towards the near side. In third is Big Ego and Aroma was fourth. They're inside the last 150 and Schoolboy Era on the near side for Chris Hayes. Gets the better of Dixie Highway. Close for the third between Aroma and Big Ego and they're well clear of the fifth home who has shaked the bucket. And Dixie Highway now races up on the outside ahead, Big Ego. Duke of Waspington has dropped back. Not Touch is staying on towards the outside as they race now towards the final furlong. And it's in the center, Dixie Highway, just the leader. Schoolboy Era putting in a big run towards the near side. In third is Big Ego and Aroma was fourth. They're inside the last 150 and Schoolboy Era on the near side for Chris Hayes. Gets the better of Dixie Highway. Close for the third between Aroma and Big Ego and they're well clear of the fifth home who has shaked the bucket. Andesh downdraft overcoming and full moon and proving towards the far side as they race now towards the furlong point they're spread right across the track Andesh downdraft full moon the far side and overcoming racing now inside the last hundred yards full moon on the inside with Andesh as they race up towards the finish it's a close one but full moon will get there a second one for Donnick O'Brien beats downdraft Andesh and overcoming. Andesh downdraft overcoming and full moon and proving towards the far side as they race now towards the furlong point they're spread right across the track Andesh downdraft full moon the far side and overcoming racing now inside the last hundred yards full moon on the inside with Andesh as they race up towards the finish it's a close one but full moon will get there a second one for Donnick O'Brien beats downdraft Andesh and overcoming 
see your mushes next, then trying to make ground behind them, Vanderbilt in a Marare towards the outside, Mulzam coming back to the field, vitalised, poetic choice, putting a run now the stand side, Baby Bellini, ragtime red from the back, and now poetic choice is driven to the front by Robbie Downey leads, ragtime red running on over on the far rail, and then Mina Marare, but up towards the finish, it's poetic choice, driven out by Robbie Downey, will beat off, ragtime red in a Marare, Kendwar is fourth, and fifth home is Vanderbilt. See your mushes next, then trying to make ground behind them, Vanderbilt in a Marare towards the outside, Mulzam coming back to the field, vitalised, poetic choice, putting a run now the stand side, Baby Bellini, ragtime red from the back, and now poetic choice is driven to the front by Robbie Downey leads, ragtime red running on over on the far rail, and then Mina Marare, but up towards the finish, it's poetic choice, driven out by Robbie Downey will beat off, ragtime red in a Marare, Kendwar is fourth, and fifth home is Vanderbilt. A likely story is just in behind them. They're followed by Goodnight Irina. Then comes Nam. Down the outside is Shawnee. Annie Fior is over on the far side. Captain Midnight trying to stay on, but a likely story has now just got to the front from Master Bond and Annie Fior as they run up towards the finish. A likely story on the outside. Shawnee with a late run as they race to the line. A likely story will win Annie Fior, Shawnee, and Quellas finishing well on the inside. All for the placings behind the likely story and Danny Sheehy. A likely story is just in behind them. They're followed by Goodnight Irina. Then comes Nam. Down the outside is Shawnee. Annie Fior is over on the far side. Captain Midnight trying to stay on, but a likely story has now just got to the front from Master Bond and Annie Fior as they run up towards the finish. A likely story on the outside. Shawnee with a late run as they race to the line. A likely story will win Annie Fior, Shawnee, and Quellas finishing well on the inside. All for the placings behind a likely story and Danny Sheehy. Racing up the straight now. Highly approved comes to join Premier League. Verhey and down the near side. It's all a joke. Gatardo right over on the far rail. They're racing now to the final furlong. And in the centre, highly approved from on the near side, Verheyen. Then it's all a joke. And Premier League still battling on in the centre. They're running up towards the finish now. Premier League and it's all a joke. And Premier League will get there for Gary Carroll. It's all a joke. Highly approved. Followed in by Verheyen. And on the rail is Gatardo. Racing up the straight now, highly approved, comes to join Premier League, Verhey and down the near side, it's all a joke, Gatardo right over on the far rail, they're racing now to the final furlong, and in the centre, highly approved from on the near side, Verhey and then it's all a joke, and Premier League still battling on in the centre, they're running up towards the finish now, Premier League and it's all a joke, and Premier League will get there for Gary Carroll, it's all a joke, highly approved, followed in by Verhey and on the rail is Gatardo.